Sometimes, dear friend, when I quote the Bible, I use the Message Bible. I don't always use it, but it sometimes makes things easier to understand, easier to convey. It says the same thing as like King James, but in a simpler, perhaps more modern way. Here's an example. Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Don't look for shortcuts to God. The market is flooded with surefire, easygoing formulas for a successful life that can be practiced in your spare time. Don't fall for that stuff, even though the crowds of people do. The way to life, to God, is vigorous, and it requires total attention. Spiritual maturity. That's our subject today. Spiritual maturity takes time. We simply can't gain the perspective and insight we need by reading just a single book or listening to a sermon or attending a weekend seminar. I wish more than anything as a minister that I could give that to people, but it just doesn't come that way. It takes time. Of course, we all experience those aha moments. And when we do, that is quite a moment. It's a rush of insight that comes. But even then, we do not become what I call spiritually mature. The real core of wisdom comes not just from understanding life's important principles, but also in living in accordance with those principles for years of time. So when you're not quite as mature as you would like to be, I'm asking you don't be discouraged. There are no instantaneous saints, but there are plenty of people like you who are slowly becoming more mature and more saintly day by day. It has been said, I've never met anyone who became instantly mature. It's a painstaking process that God takes us through, and it includes such things as waiting, failing, losing, being misunderstood, each calling for an extra dose of perseverance. I pray today that you realize that life is a journey not just a destination. Enjoy where you are, enjoy what you are, and enjoy the vision of what you're becoming on God's path.